Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Tuesday, February 21, 2017. Uh, this morning, I'm fully enjoying having way too much fun filling the bottom seams of flying by the 1938-19 foot custom runabout with interlock seam compound for underwater applications. My tools are really pretty simple. A uh, gallon can of uh, Intellux uh, 216 special thinner solvent, a quart of the seam compound. Uh, you can find it in brown and white. Uh, we typically use brown. And this is how we go about it. We just don't work from the can. You don't want the can, the contents continually exposed to oxygen lest they set. The process is really uh, quite simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, I work from just a, a small piece of, uh, this is an old piece of mahogany, waste mahogany. Uh, dig out a, a three or four tablespoons full. Um, I tried working along the seam and I, I really could not work the material down into the seam that way. So what I, what I have learned and what works for me is to work across the seam. Don't be troubled, particularly if you've got wide seams like these, don't be troubled that on your first pass you're not completely filling the seam. Uh, Interlux recommends in the case of seams that are an eighth of an inch wide or wider that uh, you allow the first application to cure for 24 to 48 hours depending on temperature and then go back and apply a second coat of this material. Uh, your goal here is to drive it to the bottom of the seam. You don't want an airspace in between. So we'll work a section as I have right here. Uh, I would normally continue for 10 feet or so. Uh, what I do continuously is keep my one inch putty knife clean so that it slides. Uh, I find that the uh, seam compound tends to load up and then the surface of the knife becomes sticky and no longer slides. I also use 216 once I've done a section, we'll just do a short section here, to clean up the waste material that's on both sides so I'm, I'm not leaving a bunch of bumpy uh, surface material. This stuff will not sand uh, and while it will adhere to the wood, it's really going to turn your your bottom painting job into kind of a mess. So, the process, putty knife, a little chunk of uh, mahogany or plywood or something like that to work as your working pallet, a bunch of old rags, and the Interlux seam compound for filling underwater seams, not the other product which is for filling seams above the water line. Finally, no, 3M5200 does not go here. We saw why in the example of the 1942 Century Imperial Sportsman, the 3M5200 had set up, once it does, it can't compress. And wood is wood. I, this has, the, these planks have three coats of, uh, of clear penetrating epoxy sealer applied to them. They should not move. But this is an original bottom. 
we are not pulling the bottom off this boat. It is absolutely tight, absolutely secure. So the negative of that is that it's impossible to seal the bottom side of these, these planks, the inner side. So I'm prepared for the reality, uh, as my wife and I own flying by over the years, that she'll have to be soaked up in the, in the spring. That's fine. We have an original bottom. This is a very rare boat. I don't want to muck with any of the original wood if I don't have to. The 5200 will cause your planks to buckle, or at least put you at risk for buckling planks. And the other beauty that I'm sure some of you have seen is a boat sitting on her trailer with these, with these curtains of 5200 cascading down from the seams. It's just so lovely. Uh, the seam compound, by contrast, will stay where it is. It cures but remains fully flexible, so as the wood expands, it can absorb that expansion. This is the product of choice for this application. It's what we use. It's what you should use. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boat Works.